Hello everyone, we will continue the topic SAP ABAP new syntax and we are covering the string expression as a replacement of concatenate. We understood firstly how we can go for string expression as a replacement of concatenate. We discussed the advantages, various advantages of that. After that, we did the practical. Now we will come on to the last important point. We will understand this point practically. So what I will do, I will fetch the data from VBAK table. I will take a character field and I will take a numeric field also. So that we can understand that whenever we will apply concatenate on numeric field data type, we will get a error then we will simply convert it to character. We will just go for typecasting. Then the same thing is not required if you are using string expression and we will understand. And this is extremely important from the interview perspective also. Now we will go for the system. So firstly, I will comment this and I will take a input into this program. Suppose I will go for select options. Suppose S underscore V B E L N. I will go for L V underscore V B E L. I will declare this L V underscore V B E L N. Type V B E L N underscore VA. This is the data element of sales document number. You can simply, simply check from VBAK table. If I will display, you can see this is the data element. I'll check the syntax and I will activate up to this level. I will provide the selection text. Go to text elements. Selection text, I will activate this. This DDIC reference, I have just chosen this particular checkbox and it is coming from data element. Now we will fetch the two column data from the table. First one is sales document number. Yes, it is character data type. Now, if I will go for amount, this is amount. Amount is numeric data type. Now we will go for that. So firstly, I will declare a structure. Begin of LTY underscore data. Whenever in the future you will go for new features of OpenSQL. At that time, there is no need to declare structure type, internal table, work areas. We will can in the in this open SQL query itself, we can directly use this. We can go for inline data declarations. But as of now, yes, we will do this particular part also. But this first column V B E L N underscore V A. Because of our major motto of this video, that how we can use string expression as a replacement of concatenate. VBELN, suppose second one is NETWR underscore AK. I will end this particular structure type. I will declare internal table and work area LT underscore data type table of LTY underscore data. I will declare work area LWA underscore data type LTY underscore data. Now I will write open SQL query. Select VBELN and ETWR from VBAK table. I will store into internal table. I will go for where condition. VBELN 
in because whenever we have the select option, we need to go for in. Now our data is in this internal table. Suppose customer is saying, I want a combined output and the separator between the columns is hash. So how we will go for this? Firstly, we will go for concatenate. Loop at LT underscore data into LWA underscore data and loop. Now I will simply simply go for concatenate. Concatenate string operation. Concatenate. What is first? Work area hyphen V B E L N. This is first column. What is second column? LWA data and ETWR into suppose I am taking a variable LB underscore R. Suppose we are going for a separator separated by suppose I am going for hash. Customer is saying I want a combined output of sales document number and amount and the separator between both of them is hash. Now I will simply write this variable. Suppose I am going for write statement. LV underscore out. I will declare this variable. Data. LV underscore output. Suppose, okay, amount and sales document number. Suppose we will go for length 50 seconds. Because anyway, sales document number is 10, amount is some 15 or 70. We can go for 30 also. 30 is okay. Total. Now, now whenever I will check the syntax, I will get the error. It will clearly say that you can apply the string operations on C, D, D, T and string. Suppose if I will check the syntax, you can see it is clearly saying NETWR must be character, numeric, date, time or string. It means it should be a character data type. So how, how I will do that? I will go for type casting. Type casting means you will pass one type to another type. So I will take a temporary variable. Suppose I am saying LV underscore amount. Suppose length is 20. Suppose type is C. Now, rather than using this variable, rather than using NETWR in the string operation concatenate, firstly, I will pass it the value to this variable. LV underscore amount is equal to LWA data and ETWR. Now, rather than using this, now I will use LV underscore amount. So this is the way how you can go for type casting and how you can use. Now you can see there is no error. Now I will show you in the debugging mode first. Then I will add one more string operation also here. Suppose I am running this particular program. Suppose I will give the input suppose 1, 2, 2. Okay. I just want to show you that amount will be become, there will be a space in the amount. How I will remove that. Now, firstly, I am doing F6. If I will show you this internal table, okay, thousand. So this thousand, this is our thousand. Thousand I am passing to LV underscore amount. If I will do F6, you can see we got a extra space here because we passed a numeric data type field value to character data type field value. So we are getting a extra space. So you need to remove that space. So what I will do, otherwise you will get an extra space here. You can use the string operation condense. 
the purpose of contents is to remove the leading and trailing spaces. If you do not have the knowledge of contents, you can simply refer the ABAP programming part one playlist and you can learn the string operation contents. So it will be used to remove the leading and trailing space. I'll check the syntax and I will activate. And you can see we are doing so many things just to get the output. But whenever we'll go for string expression, our task become very easy. Now suppose I am giving one to two. We'll see. Now it will remove the leading space. Desktop three. I am doing F six. Now whenever I will pass it to this. Now we have the space. We have the space. Now I am using contents. Have you seen the space removed? Now I am concatenating. So whenever we will concatenate, you can see we have the expected result. Previously, we have the space. So this is the way how you are writing or how you are getting the output using concatenate. Now what SAP is recommending. Now rather than concatenate, use the string expression. So how we will do this? Now we will simply apply the string expression. So now I will simply copy this and comment. I will just remove everything because there is no need for this. Nothing. Now how we will do? What is your output variable? lb underscore output. We will go for inline declaration also. Now we need to go for what? Pipe symbol. We have the pipe symbol. Now we have the variables. Variables. So we need to use which bracket? Curly bracket. And I will write lwa data hyphen. What is first column? VBELN. Now I will go for second column. LWA underscore data hyphen NET WR. Now I will simply, simply go here. Now the most important point, the why this is coming in red color? Because I have not given the space, 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 space. And now I will simply go for the right statement. Right LB underscore output. And now we have done the inline data declaration. So there is no need for this explicit data declaration. Now I will check the syntax and I will add. Just see, previously you have done so many code. Now nothing. There is no need for typecasting nothing. I will run. I will give the input. And you can see we have the output, but we want separator. There is no need to use separated by. Just write hash. Activate. Now if I will run. I will give the input. And you can see we have the same to same expected result. And this is the most, most preferred way to write the code. So what is the summary of this particular video? Important video. In this video, we covered that if you are going for string expression, string expression is applicable to all types of data type. It is character or numeric. But if you are using concatenate to combine the string, it's only applicable to character data type. So if you have a numeric data type fields, you need to do the type casting. Then after that only you can apply the concatenate operation. So firstly, I showed you concatenate. 
we got the error. So what we did, we took a variable of character data type. Then we are using that character data type variable in the concatenate. We saw in the debugging mode that we have a needing space. We remove the needing space through contents. Then after that, I showed you everything through the string expression. Very, very easy. And we use the inline data declaration also. The variables between the curly brackets space is mandatory. And we used the separator hash. There is no need to use separated by. So this is all about the string expression. So that's it in this particular video. Thank you.